Hello, this is Alex and welcome back to Skyrim. Last time we uh, finished this quest here, uh, where we killed Mercer Frey, and now I have to go into uh, the Twilight Sepulchre and return the skeleton, skeleton key to its resting place. And that is just up ahead here. So uh, yes, let's see what's gonna happen. Shut up. Okay, to Skyrim. Yes, we know this. Load faster. Uh, okay. I thought I was. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Show on map. Enter the Twilight Sephora. Where is this? Um, it's all the way down there. Where I am? Where am I? <laughs> I don't know where I am. I need to get down here. Hmm. I thought it was just through that opening there. Can I... Okay, maybe if I go like this, and then... Okay, I'm here. Ah, okay. I wonder actually if these guys have a new shout for me to learn. We can go and ask them. Because it's been a while since I learned a new shout. And there are some good ones amongst them. So let's go talk to these guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Open High Rothgar. Maybe they're asleep. I don't know. Is this the guy? No, that's Bori. And Wolfgar. Uh, I can never find my way around this place. There's somewhere I can jump down here. Here we go. Ooh, pretty flowers. Yes, yes. Hmm. Sometimes they're in here sleeping. Fortify health. Okay. More flowers, stuff I can steal. Salt, flagon. Let's empty the basket. Okay, away with that. Pick up the content. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I need to find this guy. Look at all this free loot here. That's nice. Okay. Oh, there's uh, more good stuff here. Anything over here worth stealing? Oh, chicken egg. And another potion. What do, what do they need all these potions for, I wonder? Hmm. Who's this? Hello, Bakin. Yes, that's me. Where's your guy at? I got completely turned around here. <coughs> Maybe he's up and outside. Sometimes he's out here in the courtyard practicing his shouts. Or up in the tower up there. Usually I'm able to hear him. And we're not allowed to go in there yet. Yes, I know. We haven't learned the shout yet. Let's see if he's up here. No? Often he's up here. Hmm. 
Well, I'm just going to look around, see if I can find that guy. I forget what his name is. The guy who teaches me shouts. Or maybe it's this guy. No. Mm. I'm going to search for him. Now oh, here he is. Sky, guard you. Yes, that too. Have you located any words of power? We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Hooray, we're going echo hunting. In the Forsaken Cave. Wind. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, find the word of power in the Forsaken Cave. Ah, okay. We could go there. It's not that far from the bronze water cave. Can I? Yes, place a marker there. Okay. Got it. Thank you. And where was that? Up here. So we can try to travel there. Actually, no. I want to go home first to White Run. Yes, because I got a an inventory full of loot, and I want to unload some of all that. Hello. What time is it? It is twelve. It's the middle of the night. Hello, Lydia. Are you home? What? Who keeps knocking over my statues? No, I did. Oh. I guess. How can I steal this from myself? Get up. These things are so hard to put down because, yeah, you see. The pivot point is at the bottom. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, stupid. Stupid thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, stay there then. Okay, put stuff away. And empty my inventory. Yes. Okay, that's a, a quest item apparently. Okay, that helped a little bit with my weight. Um, do I have anything I need to put in here? Let's see, uh, dragon scales. No, oh, that's the other way around. Here, dragon bone. Okay, store. Store those. What? I'm just gonna sell these. I don't know what to use them for. And the eyes of the farmer. Do I need to put those back? Oh no, I'm gonna... No, okay, they're quest items. So apparently not. Put the gems in here. Uh, ingots. Okay, that's also a quest thing. And all. Else, skeleton key. Ooh, that's a nice key. Human skull. Uh, okay. Okay, that helps. Um, what about here? Yeah. Let me just uh, get rid of all of these things. Okay, so I got my inventory sorted. Um, and I enchanted everything that I could. Let's see, where was that? That's down there. And I'm up here. Oh, it's gonna be quite a trek. But um, I also left behind <coughs> all the all the stuff I just got, the armor and the bow and all that. 
I hope I don't need it to enter down here, I don't know. But um, I'm gonna travel here, then move down here and start recording once I'm near. And if anything important happens, I'll show you. I'm almost there. So let's see what we are gonna encounter. How did you detect me? Uh -huh. uh, I don't know what to look for down here. Okay, it's over here. Let's see what we're gonna find. Speak to the Nightingale Sentinel. Down there. Okay. Better save. I don't know if I'm gonna fight anything in here. I hope not. Oh, here we go. There's no need to sneak. Hello, guy. I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? I'd ask the same question of you. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. The last? What happened to the rest? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. Oh? How are you to blame? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Oh, that bastard Mercer Frey. Wait a moment, you're Gallus. I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? I have the key. The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Oh, he is very dead. Then, it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. Um, <laughs> I did this to get rich. Nocturnal or the guild? Uh, I better say nocturnal. That's quite a noble sentiment for someone in our, well, in your line of work. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Oh. Kalaya helped me. Kalaya? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Oh, she very nearly did. Then take the key and right all the wrongs. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key. But I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, die. How can a spirit die? The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everblow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed. Severely limiting our ties to her. And I'll have to proceed alone. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Oh. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the pilgrim's path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. All right. How does the Ebonmere affect all of us? The Ebonmere is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. Okay. Luck is meaningless. What do we, <laughs> what we do involves skill. Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But Nocturnal, she influences our life, 
Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. How's that changing the way things are? Think about the guild. About the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. So when the ebony is closed, our luck runs dry. Precisely. There are a few who still call nocturnal Lady Luck, and for good reason. Uh, what's wrong with the other Nightingale Sentinels? With the Ebon Mere closed, and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglow, I fear they've undergone a drastic change. Let me guess, I have to fight them. They're shadows of their former selves. They no longer remember their true purpose, or their original identities. Fantastic. Why aren't you like them? My spirit didn't manifest itself in the sepulchre immediately. So, fortunately, I wasn't present when the Ebon Mirror was sealed. However, ever since that day, I've felt my power waning, slowly draining away. Can't you just take the key? Whatever is affecting the Nightingale Sentinels is starting to affect Yes, you said that already. My bad. As I get closer to the Ebon Mirror, I begin to feel myself slipping away. Okay. Even right this moment, I feel strange when I don't think I should be feeling anything at all. Uh, what will I face in the Pilgrim's Path? I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Yes, please. Okay, so retrieve that thing. Good luck, Nightingale. Thank you, Spirit of Gallus. Okay. Um, let's see. So we can get the journal. Or we can... Where do we need to go? I can't see on the map where I need to go. Uh, follow the pilgrim's path. Can you show me on the map? Why doesn't it show me? I guess it's just straight ahead. I'll go over there and get that journal. Is that over here? Yes. Oh, that is. Oh, poor guy. What do we? What do you got here? Ooh. Satchel. Gem. Nice. Take that. Throw it away if I. If it gets too heavy, let's see what the journals say. Nestrum's. Where is it? Journal Nestrum. Pause that if you want to read it. I didn't read it. If I get stuck, I can pick it up and try again. So I'm guessing this is the way. Maybe we should sneak. Okay, save. 